am going to show you how I varnish my acrylic paintings. Hi, I'm Lisa, the artist behind La Cree Fine Art. The way I've been varnishing my acrylics for a very long time, it is two parts. The first is using a matte finish. This is one by Krylon. I do a light coating of this over the work. The reason that I do this first is that I found if I go straight on with my Liquitex varnish itself, I have a tendency to have some of the colors smudge or smear around, which is not pleasant when you've got a white background and black next to it. I have had that black smudge set slightly, even when I wasn't using a lot of water. If I've been airbrushing, it's going to be even more severe because that's watered down so much. So by putting a matte finish, just a light coat over it, it kind of seals that paint down so that when I go over on my second stage, I don't have any problems. Now, one thing I will tell you, when you spray this, you want to go from one end of the canvas to the next. The can says hold it 10 to 12 inches away from the painting. I hold it a lot further because I'm putting such a light layer of this. But I'm holding it back and when I'm spraying it, this is an oil painting, I'm not going to spray this, but I want to hold the can and spray from one edge all the way off to the other. Don't do this in front of it or you will get hot spots on your edges where you're switching direction. Go from one end all the way to the other and again, keep it at a distance. Don't get up close. That's one of the reasons that you'll get those hot spots but I just put a very, very light coating of this. I let it dry for several hours or several days because I tend to forget about it. You want to use that outdoors because it does have a very strong odor and I'm pretty sure is not the healthiest thing to be breathing in. You want to use that when it is low humidity, not too hot, not terribly cold. There are instructions on the can, but you do want to watch for that because it can cause problems if you don't follow those directions. I will next move on to my gloss varnish with a sponge brush. Now I have found that with the sponge brush, I am way less likely to end up with streaks all over the place than if I use an actual paint brush. You don't need to thin this down. I apply it into a cup or a small container or a palette and then just use the brush then, scoop it up and apply it to the painting. So I have already sprayed the matte finish on this and now I'm using the sponge brush to apply the gloss varnish. And I know people are going to ask, why don't you just use a spray varnish over the whole thing and then you don't have to worry about the gloss varnish smudging and having to do the two steps. I've tried that. I just like the look of this better. I love the results that I get with this gloss varnish by Liquitex. So I would say for you guys, test this out yourself to see on practice sample things. I would not try varnishing for the first time ever on one of your masterpieces, but try this on a smaller project to see how you like. Now, as I apply this, a big tip I have for you is do not keep reworking the same area. Apply, apply it to whichever area and move on to the next. Don't keep rebrushing over and over and over the same zone because you can cause it to get these little bubbles and it can make the work look a little bit foggy and not so good. So I'm going to do this in two layers. I'm going to apply the first coat now. I will let it dry completely for three hours and then I'm going to come back and apply a second layer over the whole thing and then that's it. And I know you can't really see in this angle but this really does make the colors just pop and it's, they're so much more vibrant and so much more like an oil painting here. And once I have this on one of my paintings, I can't tell the difference between my oils and my acrylics. They look exactly the same to me. Of course, your initial painting technique will have a lot to do with that, but a lot of people will complain that acrylics are too flat or too dull or have whatever look. They don't look enough like oils. They really do. If you use them right, you blend them properly, and then you put a gloss varnish over it, it really does look just like an oil. Now my last tip for this, make sure you have taken any photographs of your artwork that you're going to want to before you varnish. Once you varnish and you've got that high gloss, it is so hard to get good photos that don't have that glare and the reflection coming off on it. So definitely I recommend take your photos first, make sure that they're exactly what you need and then varnish. Thanks for watching. If you're new to my channel, I have new video critiques every Tuesday where I'm critiquing your original paintings or drawings, my own speed paintings, drawings, and tutorials every Wednesday, art Q&A videos every Thursday, and artist vlogs each weekend. So if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. And you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+, Plus. all of those social media sites are linked below in the video description where you can keep up with news, my newest work, and see real-time clips of whatever it is I'm currently working on. I'll see you guys in a few days.